Tigel captures six wickets, but South Africa still has the upper hand in the second test. Bangladesh left-arm spinner Tigel Islam took 6 to 135 for his side, but they are still in the game despite slipping to 139 for 5 on day 2 of the second and final test against South Africa on Saturday. Bangladesh are 314 runs behind their hosts total of 453 all out at St George's Park, and their first priority will be to avoid the follow-on when Mushfika Rahim, 30 not out, and Yasir Ali, 8 not out, begin bowling on the third morning. Wyan Mulder, 3 to 15, has been the most effective among the home bowlers, dismissing to me Mikbal for a quick 47. As Bangladesh suffered a twin blow after a strong start to their innings, he did the same to Najmal Hussein Shanto, 33, as well. Mulder snared skipper Mominal Hock, 6, with his third LBW of the innings, bowling a brilliant tight line with just a touch of swing into the pads. Bangladesh also lost first innings centurion Marmajul Hassan Joy for a duck when he edged Seema Duan Olivier, 2-17 to first lip Saral Irwi, and Olivier bowled the dangerous slit and das, 11, with a stunning ball that smashed over middle stump. After winning the toss, South Africa began their first innings on 278 for 5, taking a 1-0 series lead after a 220-run victory in Durban. After a dry run for the side, captain Dean Elgar stressed the significance of the batsmen making hundreds, but the next to fail was spinning all-rounder Keshav Maharaj, who constructed a good 84 from 95 balls before being dismissed after a nasty swipe over the line from Tigel's bowling. Elgar, 70, Temba Bavuma, 67, and Keegan Peterson, 64, all exceeded the 50-point mark but fell short of the three-figure mark. However, it was the first occasion in Test history that nine batters scored 20 runs in a single innings. On his comeback to the side after replacing injured Seema Taskin Ahmed, Tijul took 150 test wickets bowling with remarkable control, 